to begin disassembly, we start by removing the sleeve nut and then we remove the piston retaining ring. It's a left hand thread. Remove the sleeve nut and the O-ring carrier straight up. Now the cylinder is free to slide out, so I'll put my finger on the lip to keep it from falling and put it down. Remove the cap using a 5 millimeter wrench. Remove the housing. And for convenience, we put the cap back on and use it as a lever. Now to separate the cylinder and the piston, we want one fluid motion. Start low, aim high. If you pull it out slowly, you have the tendency of it stopping before it exits, getting lodged sideways and being stuck. One fluid motion, bottom to top. To reassemble the piston cylinder, we start by using the piston insertion tool. The white surface must be clean because that touches the polished inside surface of the cylinder. If you have fingerprints, dirt, or lint, you will transfer that to the clean surface. Put the cap back on the top of the piston. And then grab the cylinder, slide it straight up and off. And at this point, you can do some initial feeling to see if it feels free. Remove the cap. Slide the housing on top. Put the cap back on. Now we rotate the assembly, put the finger under the edge, to keep the cylinder from sliding out. Be careful not to touch the piston and flip it over. Put the O-ring carrier on, straight down, be careful not to touch the piston. Slide the sleeve nut over, get it started in a left hand manner. And tighten using the sleeve nut tool.